News 8 is your local election headquarters. The state is receiving $5 million from the federal government to help fight against cyber attacks on the state voting system. Last year, the Homeland Security Department announced Connecticut was one of 21 states that the Russians tried to cyber attack during the 2016 election. It didn't work, but as Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis tells us tonight, the money will be used to bolster security even more. Just six weeks till Election Day, and the Secretary of the State has announced the purchase of 169 of the AccuVote optical scan tabulators that the state has been using since 2006. The machines are considered hack-proof because they are not connected online and retain your paper ballot, so recounts are relatively easy as long as the ballots remain secured. In Connecticut, our voting machines are never connected to the internet. This is not about the way your vote is tabulated. Our machines, our tabulating machines, cannot be hacked in that way. While every city and town has at least one backup optical scanner tabulator, the additional purchase will ensure there are enough machines in the event any start to fail after being used for more than a decade. The attempted and thwarted Russian hack was at a system that is online. The statewide voter registration lists that the registrars print out for Election Day so they can cross off your name when you come to vote. What we know is that the Russians continue, continue to try to manipulate uh, our political system. It is felt that the local cities and towns is where the system is most vulnerable. And most of the money will be spent at that level for increasing password security and more computer training. Senators Murphy and Blumenthal say what they are being told is that the Russians and other foreign actors will attempt to undermine the public's trust in our voting system. And if that happens, more people may stay home on Election Day. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.